Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Impress. So what I want to do on this session is go through some of the basics and create a few slides using Impress so you can get a feel for how it works. So when you first open Impress, you're asked to select a template with these preloaded templates. You can see there's quite a few different ones there. If you want one of these, you can click on one of these or for this example, I'm just going to cancel this. If you don't want to see this box every time you open this, you can tick this off and it will not show up at startup. So I'm just going to cancel that. So we're going to do a little couple of slides or three slides about the Battle of Waterloo. To move down from one text box to another, you can use Control Enter or you can just type click and type and it will let you do that um, so let's go for the date of this 18th of june 1815 and then control enter gives me a new slide so you can see down the left hand side there you've got a little preview for your slides you can click on this little arrow to hide it and then show it and down the bottom you've got um, a scroll bar to take you down to bottom of the screen if you want this bigger you've got a zoom control and then you you've got more space to actually see what you want to see so if I now I'll do I'll take that back down actually because too big let's go for French forces French forces troll enter and then we're just putting three points on this so we'll have Napoleon tab down press enter sorry and then tab across to give yourself a little bullet press enter to come down and press shift tab to go back enter to come down tab to go indent and cavalry will say he is enter shift tab to go back um, to get back across to the main indent line you can also use your mouse and use these two indent buttons there decrease increase indent if you want and then the last guy, enter, tab. He was in charge of the artillery, say. To artillery. So I just recommend that you have three points on each slide. So that's just three points there. If I press control and enter now, I'll just get a new slide. And then I can just type. I didn't even click anywhere. And the next title, which is British Forces. Control enter and then you go through the same process for the British forces. So we'll do exactly the same. So shift tab to come back and then your three points that you want to make. So infantry enter shift tab and then Uxbridge enter tab cavalry and then you've got your you're finished. Then you want to save this. Control S to save. You call it Waterloo. And there it is saved. So you've got your three slides. Title, French, and British. Now you can see that it's picking these up as a speller mistake. It's not a speller mistake, so you can just ignore that. Or you could add it to your dictionary if you want. It's probably not a good idea to add names to your dictionary because sometimes... You will want that to be uh, as it is. Now, you can format the background and change the um, layout and all that sort of thing from, from this. So you've got background image there. Um, if you want to put a background image, um, you just click on that and it gives you a, a list of images. So we'll just go for further up we've got photos and in there we've got Waterloo so I'll just pick one of these just to demonstrate it and you can see that that image there is sitting right in the middle it's not the best image to be honest now if you want to have that in the what's called the master area if I click undo control Z just because it's a bit over the top that if I go to view and then into the slide master which is like the background where you can change the fonts and everything so these fonts are the default and this is what happens when you press the the tab key it comes down to seven levels 
which in PowerPoint it only goes down to five levels, so you get two extra levels. But you can put you can put a, an image in the background here. So I'm going to go for this a similar image, but not that one. I'll go for the cavalry charging. Now what you've got here is um, down this right hand side you've got some. T so I'm going across the top to get to the to the master, but you've also got a little toolbar here which gets you into the master slides, and you've got this one being used as a master slide. You've got set transition, you've got animation and shapes, styles and gallery and things like that. So different diagrams. Uh, all these little features are quite useful. So close slide master is here, but I've got these other views. I'll just close slide master. So that's now cascaded down all of them. So there's the background. Now you've also got, if I go to, to the view, You've got we're in normal, what's called normal view at the minute. You've got slide sort of view where you can see them like a pack of cards just laid out. You've got outline view, which is just a list like you'd have in Word, and then you've got notes view where you can add your notes in there. So, um, for example, you could say there bullet list. So Wellington, this is about Wellington, born in 1769 for example died died in 1852 and that's what you should do there so when that comes up you say this and then when Picton comes up you go Picton um, forgot uniform shot in head this is what you want people to say or what you're going to say as this bullet comes up Enter and then Uxbridge lost leg buried at Waterloo, apparently. Red like that. Buried, spelt it wrong. So that's your notes to normal. I want to go back to not slide layout. Back to that and then. You can add your notes or you can go and see notes just anytime you want. Just click on notes and you can see it there. It's like a notes view. Um, back to normal. Now if you want to animate these slides, you've got the option to animate. So if we go to slide sort of view, you've got animation and slide transition. But you've also got them down here, remember, when I said that animation and slide transition. So I'll do that. It gives you all these. Now, if I click onto something else and then go and click on animation up there, transitions, I like dissolve, dissolve in, and then you can apply that. To, you can apply that to all slides. So then it's dissolving on all slides. You get a little star to see to show you that you've got that on there. Animation. You've got to select the um, the text box that you want to animate. So we get onto this. And then you can animate these slides. So what you need to do is make sure you've got the whichever text. Don't normally animate the titles, to be honest, but let's ignore the titles. So you select the area that you want. So that, that is everything. So if I go to add, it's saying appear. This, let's go for something more. Let's go for that one. So they're just going to check a, there's a dissolving is what I like so the dissolving in the wrong click there's no delays and you can see there you've got different options in there with previous and you've got settings there um, I normally set text animation to level two should I say we've only got two levels and I'm not bothered about the turn it's still on click that's okay effects this is quite a cool effect. If you go with, dim with colour, so when it loses focus, you can change it to one of these colours. If I click OK, and then just play that, it should change colour, which it hasn't. So I'll just go back into there. In fact, let me just put that into presentation mode and see if you can... Um, see it so this is that that's the effect 
I didn't do any, there's the dissolving in, there it is now, it's doing the effect, it's, it's going out to, to yellow, so I'll just press escape to come back into that, and you can see how that works. So we've got it on entrance, and if we go and add another effect, we've got dissolve, dissolve, but I don't want to do that, so let's do another one, this can be um exit so on exit i want it to dissolve out as well and then you could just play that it's gonna dissolve away so it's going to dissolve in and it's going to dissolve away so these are just basic things that you can do with LibreOffice impress nothing spectacular on this little session so we've basically formatted a three slide slideshow with this as a background we've created animation and we've done transition and we've also viewed some of the effects i.e dim after it loses focus you can also um, edit backgrounds in the slide master if you want to so that's all i want to cover on this little session so hopefully it was of use for you